Hello everyone, I am Anjali Arora and today in this video we are going to start the discussion for magnetostatics part and guys this is our first video for magnetostatics in continuation of this one we will have more videos for the magnetostatics discussion as we will have more important concepts and the topics discussion in upcoming videos so guys don't miss the upcoming videos which i will upload here on this channel which is mission net physics exam and if you are new on this channel or if you have not subscribed this channel yet so what you can do you can click on the subscribe button below this video also click on the bell icon so that you will not miss the notification for the new videos and guys if you will like this video you can share it with all your friends too those who are preparing for the upcoming csi or net exam gate exam jest exam iit jam exam or any such exam in which emt is the part of the syllabus of that particular exam clear so now let's start the discussion quickly and guys as it is the first session so we will have the introductory session initially but here in this session too we will have a very important result which we will consider okay which is very important result of this uh, magnetostatic part so let's uh, start the discussion now the point is initially we are going to talk about this thing that what is magnetostatics so in the magnetostatics we will talk about the static magnetic field okay we will discuss the static magnetic field and after that guys what is the static magnetic field so magnetic field which will not change with time or does not change with time is known as the static magnetic field now the point is how we can have the magnetic field due to the current presence okay in a wire if there is a current which means charges are in motion so corresponding to that current will be there as well as you will have the magnetic field okay which will be present along that wire so current is going to play a very important role here so in this case what will happen when we are saying magnetic field does not change with time that means current is even not changing with time so you can have a look at this current is not a function of time clear so this is again another very important point and in this case when current is not changing with time this type of current is known as what the steady current okay so that has been mentioned here you can even have a look at this i hope everything is clearly visible to you now next thing after knowing about the basics of magnetostatics now we will talk about the magnetic force what we mean by magnetic force as we have got to know about this thing if there will be charges which are in motion corresponding to that we will have the magnetic field okay now the point is what is the force on a charged particle we will have okay which is having the charge q and it is moving with a velocity v in the presence of magnetic field b clear or in the magnetic field b so what will be the force acting on that particular charged particle we call it the magnetic force and this force expression we can write with the lorentz force okay or the expression which we will discuss is also known as lorentz force what is that force guys so that's going to be f is equal to q v cross b v is the velocity with which that charged particle is moving in which magnetic field it is moving in the magnetic field b okay and the another thing what is q here that is the charge on the particle so i hope it is clear to every one of you now after this point guys we will find the work done but with the help of the work done we are going to find a very important result from here so which will be the important one and even we all need to know about it these basic and general points are very important because sometimes we skip that part and we are not able to answer the questions then so you need to focus on all on all these important points so that you will not miss any answer for any given question in the exam you will have all the points clear to you and you will be able to answer any such type of question that's why we are even going to keep these videos short so that whatever you will learn in these videos in this discussion you will get everything clearly and i am going to discuss everything from the basics so that if there is someone who is new and who is not familiar with these topics this part of emt so they will even be able to understand the points then okay next point 
So what is work done? Let's say the distance travelled by the particle is what? dr. So what is the general formula of work done in uh, like when the force applied on the particle is f. So force acting on the particle or force uh, okay uh, on the particle is f. So in that case the work done we are showing it with dw. So what it will be? It will be f dot dr. Now the point is I can just modify this expression a little bit by dividing it by dt and multiplying it with dt okay so I have done that thing here I have just written dt here as well as here so what will happen in this case you can write dr by dt as v I mentioned it at this place I'm gonna just show you okay where what kind of changes have been made so you can see that thing has been considered as v at this place okay this is what the v how we have written that just a second guys so that will be just dr by dt which is what which is the velocity clear after this what will happen if you are going to see this thing v cross b this is the cross product of two vectors v and b okay in that in this case when you will find the cross product you will get a vector quantity and that vector quantity will be perpendicular to v as well as b both okay that uh, vector quantity will be perpendicular to v and b both so when you will find the dot product of that vector with v you will get the cos theta term there because a dot b vector dot product is equal to what a b cos theta so cos theta theta will be 90 degrees because the vector which you will get after the cross product you will have that vector perpendicular to v and b both and that vector's dot product when you will find with vector v it will give you what the cos 90 degree term there which will be zero so from here you will get the final answer is equal to what that will be equal to dw zero done now the point is what this is gonna tell us this is gonna tell us that the power associated okay with this magnetic force is equal to what zero this is the final result and the conclusion so what is the power associated with the magnetic fo uh, force that is zero and for any such kind of force associated to which the power is equal to zero you can call it fictitious force okay so again if you will have this word written somewhere fictitious force or this conclusion has been given somewhere you will be sure about it that okay i know it that the power associated with the magnetic force is equal to what zero and what kind of field we were discussing here right now we are talking about the magnetostatics okay i hope everything is clear to all of you guys and for this video we are just gonna keep this much discussion instead of taking so many points together we are just gonna talk about some points in a video but everything should get clear to you in the same way we will also have one more video and in continuation of this one we will have many videos for the magnetostatic part as well as one by one for different subjects for example like electronics emt quantum and for different different subjects we will keep on having the discussion in upcoming videos too okay so keep on watching these videos if you have even missed any of the previous videos you can check them on the channel mission net physics exam and i hope these videos will be helpful for you guys and if you are new on this channel what do you need to do you need to subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and after that click on the bell icon too so that you will get the notification for all the videos and also keep it on for all the notifications okay or all the videos another thing if you liked it you can even share this video with all your friends guys so that the video will even be helpful for them in their preparation now let's talk about the another thing guys here i'm gonna just tell you something about the unacademy plus subscription as well so if you want to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming csr net physics exam preparation uh, so in that case guys there are many courses going on on unacademy plus right now by the top educators by attending these courses well structured and well planned courses and their live classes you can do very good preparation for your upcoming exam as you will get to know about the most important strategies by the top educators as well as you will be able to cover up many important concepts topics questions and you will learn the right approach to solve, solve the questions too 
So if you think you need the guidance and you want to attend the regular live classes, then you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. And whenever you will take the Unacademy Plus subscription, you can use and apply the referral code which is Anjali Arora. As mentioned here, no space in between, spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it. And you, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. I hope everything will be clear to all of you. Also, if you want to know about the steps you need to follow to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, so guys, then you can download the Unacademy Learning app. You can select your goal as CSR UGC Net and you can proceed further to take the subscription. Subscription is available for different duration. For example, three months, six months, one year, two years. So depending on for how much time you want to attend the sessions, for how much time you want to prepare with the live classes and the important courses, you can take the subscription for that much duration. And as per the duration you will select, you will have to consider like you will have to uh, just pay the amount corresponding to that much time like it will be visible to you in the learning app how much is the amount for particular duration okay another thing guys if you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription today for example and if there is any course which is already going on so you will be able to check out the previous session re recordings too you will be able to cover up that part you will not miss anything and when you will check them even in the uh, courses we are having the doubt clearing session so if you will have any doubts anywhere you can ask about them to the educator in the doubt clearing sessions and that's how everything will be clear to all of you clear thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and whenever you will take the unacademy plus subscription as there are many new courses which are starting at this point of time and many detailed courses are even starting by the top educators so it is even a good time to take the subscription if you are going to take the subscription you can use and apply the referral code which is Anjali Arora as mentioned here no space in between spelling should be same whenever you will get the place to write the referral code write it apply it click on the apply written there and then you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.